So you ever go on booth and try to pick up something to put on your Vroid, it'll be really cool. Maybe some ears or a tail or maybe some wings or something to give your Vroid a little extra oomph. But you figure out that you actually can't do it in the Vroid program. You have to use Unity. And that's really frustrating because a lot of the times people don't know how to put it on. And it can be a little confusing for new people. So I'm here to show you how to do it. It's really easy once you get the hang of it and don't even worry about it. So let's pop open Unity and let's get started. All right, welcome back. So now that we have Unity open, we can start doing what we need to do to get our special little extras on. So for today, I'm going to use the example of when I made my Halloween costume. I had to add bat ears and wings. So we're going to go through how I did that. And hopefully by the end of this, you'll know what you're doing. So first things first, you're going to want to, as always, import the Unity the uni vrm package I'll always as always put a link at the bottom so that you know where to get it you're going to want to do both the shaders and the regular one so now that we have those in there the next thing you're going to want to do is add in whatever vroid you're adding this to so go ahead and pull that up you're going to go up to vrm zero as always import find where you put it take our little person drag them up so that we can edit them we're going to need to look at them. As long as you can see, that's what matters. So from here, click on your person. And if you unclick down here, you're going to see a whole bunch of roots and hairs and different things. And we're going to go ahead and play with these. Okay. Now for this particular character of mine, everything is under root. And we want to find the right bone. So here we found the head bone, which is what we need if we're going to add ears. Okay. It might take a little bit of digging sometimes, but you'll find it. So then once we found where we want to put something, we're going to go ahead and import the item that we want to do. So we're going to import a new package. You're going to find the one that you want. Wherever you put the thing that you made in Blender, or maybe you downloaded something from Booth, wherever you put it, find it. Nice. Okay, so now we have the bat ears. Now, if we wanted to add a texture to these ears, we could go ahead and just import a texture and just throw them on top. But for right now, I'm not going to bother doing that. So we're just going to show you how to put them on. But literally, all you need to do is if you want to take a texture, picture, just drag it right on top of this. And then it will change the color of this particular item to whatever texture that it was that you put on there. So now that we have the item... We're going to go ahead and we're going to put it under the bone right here where we want it to be attached. We're going to open the prefab because that's what we need to do. It won't let you do anything unless you open the prefab. You can't edit within the actual one. But because we've already opened everything, we already kind of know where everything is. So we're going to go ahead and find where we put, where we found the head again. There. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead and throw it underneath there. And now it's a part of the prefab. So now we can go back. Now that it's in the prefab... For some weird reason, it's thrown it way the frick up here, but that's okay. We can just select it. And we're going to pull it down to where we want it to be. Now the ears are roughly where we need them to be. That looks good for right now. I think anyway. I mean, if you want them a little bit more forward or backward or wherever you want them, you can figure it out. Put it on there real nice. So then we're going to do the same thing with the wings. So we're going to import a package again. Find the one, we have the bat wings here that I got off of Booth. All right, and then here's the wings. So now that we have the wings, so here we're gonna wanna attach it to the spine so that it follows with us. So you're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna open the prefab, put it in the spine. Again, it's a little high up, but that's okay. We can go back to the project now. So you can select the bat wings. And then we can move them where we need them to be. And then we can adjust them accordingly. If we want them like further out, further in. No, higher up. Make sure we stay along that spine area in the upper part. Otherwise it won't stay. It kind of like stops like here, I believe. All right. 
once you have everything where you want it to be, roughly, then all you have to do is go back up, collapse everything, press on your character. If you notice now, everything is selected, including the ears and the wings. So all of this is a part of our character design and the program accepts it as one piece. So now that it's one piece, we can go ahead and go to the, un the VRM0, and then we can export it, do all this fun stuff that it always asks, and then we can put it where we want. So we can put ears and wings. All right, and now that it's been saved, we can go ahead and check it out in whatever program that you guys use. I use Luppet, so we're gonna hop into Luppet. And as you can see, it follows my head perfectly fine and my spine. So we move really, really nice and well with it. And it'll look even better once you put textures on it. But this was just a basic tutorial on how to get everything onto your Vroid. I hope it helped. And if I did, maybe think about giving me a thumbs up, maybe even a subscribe for future content like this. And if you like me double as much, feel free to come drop by and check me out on Twitch. I stream every weekend. Right now we're doing some cool stuff for Halloween, so come check it out. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye!